What I want to talk about today is self-healing. What, what does it mean to self-heal? And also I'm going to mention a few things that I do and I have done in the past that help me self-heal. Okay. First of all, I want to let you in on a little secret. Self-healing doesn't mean that you're fixing yourself, that you're broken. Okay. Because just because you have problems doesn't mean you're broken or you need to be fixed because that's not what it's about. That's the way I used to think it, that it was about that I was broken and you know, I needed to be fixed, but it's not like that, you know, because let's back it up a little bit. When you were born, when you came out of the womb and you're bright eyed and bushy tail and your mom was there and your dad was there and they looked at you, you were perfect. You're innocent. You had no anger issues. You had no resentments. You didn't have self-esteem issues, nothing. You were perfect. Just the way you are in, in that very moment. You really are. So self-healing is not about fixing us. It's not because the things that you are dealing with in your life, like for myself, anger issues like crazy, feeling lonely, low self-esteem, jealousy, feeling hurt, behavioral issues, all those things that you are experiencing right now in your life, believe it or not, are learned. So what most of us suffer from is not that we're broken or we need to be fixed. We just have issues or problems that need to be dealt with. That's basically what we need to do. In recovery programs, they have four or five that helps us do that six, seven, those steps that help us do that. In other recovery situations, there's other methods of doing that. But for myself, I just need to tell you that, that you are not broken and you can help yourself. And I call it shining a little light on the shadows. The first thing we have to do with self-healing is stop pushing that aside in ignoring those parts of us or those behaviors or those belief system, those beliefs that we have that don't suit us. We stop, we have to stop and stop pushing those aside and pretending that they don't exist in some magical way. If we stay sober, if we go to the gym enough, we eat properly, we pray enough that they're just going to go away. Well, I used to do the same. They don't. You're just joking yourself. You're just fooling yourself. Let me tell you, you really are. They're not going to go away. And what I want you to do is this. Take those out of the closet, out of the dark, out, you know, out from underneath your steps or wherever they, you put them in your body. Take them out and lay them out and start shining some light on that. Start saying to yourself, what is is one of the problems that I'm having that is causing me the most difficulties. And the one for me was anger. So I had to stop pushing anger aside, not taking responsibility for the anger, the way I felt, pull it out. And, you know, for lesser words, pull a little sun on it, you know, take some a flashlight and put some light on it and start focusing on that. And what I mean is that once we start bringing it out and talking about it, understanding it, trying to understand it, it doesn't have the impact that it used to have. And one of the ways that I used to do it, and I still do it, is I journal. So if, you know, why am I freaking out on my mom? Why am I jealous about this person? Why am I, you know, feel hurt when you know, my wife says this to me, I start journaling about it. You know, what was going on before the argument or what was going on before I lashed out at somebody? Was I too tired? I start doing like a little mini inventory of my life, you know, surrounding the buildup. You know, was I tired? Do I not need to go to a counselor and talk about some issues that I need to address as a child or do I need to pause a little bit and really, am I taking things a little too seriously 
Am I too personal? What my per what that person said to me and did it trigger an old feeling? We need to do that. We need to do spot checks on our behavior, our character defects, our shortcomings. We need to do that one day at a time for self improvement, self worth, self. Ah, I can't I can't tell you how well this works. But take one thing in your life that's troubling you. Focus on that, shine some light, take it out of the shadows and say, I'm gonna focus on this for a while. I'm gonna work on it, get down to it and figure out why I'm acting like I'm acting or why I'm thinking like I'm thinking or why I'm feeling like I'm feeling. And if I need more help, I'll go and see a counselor. I'll go and see someone else that can help me get out of that, okay? So I hope I made sense. I hope I did. There's a big difference, okay? I'm not out to fix you. And don't be out to fix yourself because you know something? You're not broken. You're not broken, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, please subscribe to my channel. Take another second and hit that like button, okay? Thanks a lot for stopping by. And remember, there is no ah, ah, ah. I just so it slipped up. Remember, freedom is sobriety. Being clean and sober, the shackles of addiction, broken, gives us freedom. It gives us freedom. God bless. See you later. Ciao for now.